Welcome to the South Yorkshire Demoscopy Academy. Training a primary care demoscopist for every general practice. I'm Andy, a GP for 30 years here in the UK, and I've been using a dermoscope for the past 12 years or more. If you have an interest in learning dermoscopy, then you've come to the right place. However, I'm not working alone, but have a little helper. Hey Dave, say hello. Good day, possums. I'm Andy's cousin and here to keep tabs on proceedings and ensure Andy doesn't get too carried away. I'm the voice of reason. My philosophy is that life is like a camera. Just focus on what's important. Capture the good times. Develop from the negatives. And if things don't work out, then just try another shot. Well, thank you for that slice of Antipodean wisdom, Dave. However, we did promise to keep things short and to the point. What's our theme for this welcome video? Discussing why learning demoscopy is like eating Jaffa cakes. Indeed. Three reasons. Number one, it's a sweetness you only enjoy if you taste it for yourself. Mmm. Let's try a little experiment. Those of you watching, please put your hands together like this. Ready? Here you go. Catch. Oh, you dropped it. Try again. Ready? You see, to truly enjoy the sweetness of dermoscopy, you'll need at some point to start experiencing it for yourself. Or really, it's just going to be head knowledge. Let us guide you how to start, the common pitfalls to avoid, and how to get that sweet outcome, not just for you, but also your patients. And always remember, your best teachers aren't going to be me or even Dave. Oi, I heard that. Your best teachers are going to be your patients, but only if you choose to listen to them. Reason two, we grow by eating a little and often. Do you know, I used to love Jaffa cake so much. After one birthday, I took my birthday money and purchased four packets of Jaffa cakes. I then proceeded to eat all four packets in one sitting. I know, very sad, and I was violently sick. Bearing in mind that in those days, you actually got 12 Jaffa cakes per packet, not the current 10. For many years thereafter, if I even saw a Jaffa cake, I felt sick. It was only during a psychology lecture at medical school I realised that I had actually self-administered a version therapy to my eating of Jaffa cakes. It took me many decades of therapy to overcome it, and as you can see, um, I'm almost recovered. But there is a principle that applies to learning dermoscopy. It's that our brains, like our stomachs, can only hold so much at once. And if we try to cram too much in at one go, we're likely to vomit it all back up. Our videos will be trimmed to 10 minutes or less, aiming for concentrated dermoscopic sweetness that you can easily digest and build your skills with. One final reason why learning dermoscopy is like eating Jaffa cakes is because someone has to pay. It's because these don't come for free. Oh, how I wish. How did I get this packet of sweetness? I had to go to a shop and hand over my hard-earned cash. So, what does it cost to learn dermoscopy? You might have already looked around for courses, most are internet-based learning, that cost from hundreds to thousands of pounds. Well, if that's what's putting you off dermoscopy, we are giving you this course free of charge, other than the time it costs you to watch. And we understand and value your time highly. To sign up, all you need to do is hit the subscribe button and each sweet bite of dermoscopic fun will ping in your inbox when ready to be served and enjoyed. We want this to be an interactive course. So thumbs up, comments and questions are very welcome. Learning demoscopy, like many things in life, is a journey and not a destination. Struth, mate, that was a slick presentation. But all that talk of Jaffa cakes has made me feel hungry. Is food all you ever think about, Dave? Nah, there's surfing as well. So why don't I put this packet of Jaffa cakes up here to remind people that learning demoscopy is a little like eating Jaffa cakes. Good idea, Andy. You know what I love about you, Dave? What, Andy? You always have a smile on your face. Of course I do, Andy. The sun's always shining here on the Gold Coast, a warm breeze and an inviting sea, unlike in the UK. Ha ha, ha ha ha. You do know that Jaffa cakes aren't really cakes. Why do you say that? There was a VAT tribunal in 1991 that decided that these were cakes and therefore could avoid a UK tax added to any biscuit. 
Why do you think they are biscuits? Well, first off, you find them in the biscuit aisle in the supermarket, don't you? Typical of you palmies. If people like something, it's a reason to tax it. Yes, I suppose so. But when I walked into a Kentucky Fried Chicken restaurant, that doesn't make me a chicken, does it? OK, well, you don't give them to people on their birthdays. Try sticking 30 candles on a Jaffa cake. It's not possible. Well, you could, if the candles were very small. Biscuits are a collective Andy. They're like the Pussycat Dolls or Wu-Tang Clan. On their own, they can be tasty. But when they're together with their mates, they're awesome. You can't put cakes on top of one another in a pile. It just gets messy. Ah, but can you dunk them in your tea? If done quickly, that is. Mmm, warm orange. Mmm. Training a primary care demoscopist for every general practice.